Hey guys, you ever hear about Lipa Love TV? I want you to like, share and subscribe. Check it out, it's a bomb. Yeah, welcome back to Lipa Love TV. There with you, 15th day of the 7th month of the 22nd year inside the 21st century. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Today I was going to talk about something that's going around on the UK media and it's about the female uh, English football team. A big controversy has, has been sparked, they've just reached the quarterfinals and there are apparently no black people in the squad and no people, black people on the bench. So no black people came on the last game and no black people are actually playing in the team which now the controversy is obviously somebody in the BBC has said this is obviously not representing the footballer football in question in the country but what's interesting about that is you know a lot of us have got family members who play football and this is allowing other family members to decide that they're going to play for their respective countries outside of the UK such as Trinidad, Jamaica, I don't know, whatever team people come from, maybe Ghana. And that's a good that's good news. Regardless of whatever happens, that's good news. Because we can remember back in the 80s when the you know the, the black players in the in the premiership who should have got more caps didn't get more caps. So what they would do is they'd give them one cap, tie them to the team, and then they couldn't play for anybody else. You get people like uh, Ian Wright got very few caps, um, uh, Andy Cole got very few caps. Regis got very few caps and they all sort of got suckered in to this English thing as if they were going to be respected in England. Now what's happening with the, the English team at the moment is they're doing well and so people are saying well the best people on merit are in the team. Well they're not, not necessarily but you see what can happen and what normally happens in the UK is that people get them to a certain level and then when they get to that level they drop them and then, then the people who they really want to be in the team take over. That's, that's true on all situations. That's true in hospitals and all other businesses around the UK. They bring people in to keep them on, up, up to a certain standard and then all of a sudden they start taking back those positions once they're at that place. So the football team is no different in that way and people shouldn't be too surprised to see that happening at football level. Now I'm not too concerned about the fact that um, you know, some of this, the black girls are not getting into the English team. Like I just said, I think it gives them a chance to look further afield and to, you know, play for countries where you are the dominant person. Because the truth is, you're not really going to get that respect as a black person playing for a, a, a predominantly white country. It's as simple as that. We saw it with, with, with you know, Sterling last year or the year before we see it with the black players whenever they fail it's the black players that get it in the neck yeah that's what that's who gets it in the neck so it's not exactly fair and then the the other players who who didn't do too well somehow they don't get the, the you know the the, the or how comes you didn't get us through how comes it didn't work they don't get it it's always the black players because it's almost like you should be privileged as a black person to be playing for us not that we're privileged to have you but you should be privileged to be playing for us and so if that's happening now to the women, it's time for them to wake up, smell the coffee and realise it's time to look further afield for different teams. I mean, Jamaica has just qualified for the World Cup. You know, th that's, that's a start. They're in the World Cup and that's, that's, the, you know, that's a start. I don't know how well they'll do there, but as I said, they're going to have the choice of a lot more players than they've had in the past because a lot of black girls are playing in the higher leagues in the UK, in America. And, so they, and a lot of them do have um, some link back to Jamaica, for instance. So they're going to start getting a, a, a higher um, category of player. And if that, they're managed well, they can go quite far in this, new, in this World Cup coming up. So we'll wish them all the best. And as for, you know, I, I, there was this, I can't remember who it was, one of these guys, um, Dan Wooden or something like that. There was, you know, as usual, given his old England isn't racist and why can you know this woke thing and the BBC and all and as usual they brought that that black failed um, I don't know if he's a politician or what the failed guy that fell for the mayor on and he does his little whiteified attitude you know this is what they do this is I'll say it out I'll say it and I don't I'll say it and I won't pull any punches they pull out these PGT um, you remember those PGT adverts with the monkeys they pull them out and they say exactly what they want to say and you know and you know what they used to say the piano's on my foot, Dad. 
you hum it and I'll, and I'll play. I mean, this is what they do. They bring these guys out. These guys don't represent anybody that looks like me or you. They, don't, they can't walk the streets that me and you go to. They can't come into the corners and the ends and the places that we go to. They cannot. Whether they want to is, a, is another thing, but they cannot. And these are the people that they bring to justify. Because, you know, that's all you have to do. You just bring a person that looks like me or you, or me, should I say, because I don't know about you. A, get a person that looks like me and get them to say exactly what they, you want them to say. They always get that position on, on the sofa, whether it's GB News, Sky News, BBC. They always get the space, whether it's a woman or a man. They wouldn't dare put me in those positions. They wouldn't dare put many of you who can speak out and for yourselves and are not frightened of these people in those positions. That's the way they do it. That's what we call propaganda. And remember, you're living with the masters of propaganda. That's what they do. And propaganda is not truth. So if you're looking for truth, you're going to have to switch off those, those TVs and stuff like that. Don't get angry when you hear people talking on these programs and saying, oh, they're not speaking the truth. They were never set up to be truth machines. They are propaganda machines to put over a position that they want to do, whether it's about war, whether it's about race, whether it's about religion, whether it's about politics, whether it's about science, it's all propaganda. None of it's to do with truth. Take care. See you soon. Live for Love TV.